That's not roasting. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering a sample phrase. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas. Welcome back to another vlog. As you guys can see, I did my hair and my makeup. If you follow me on Instagram, you know why your girl did a little photo shoot today. But Christian is now in the kitchen, probably making it worse than what it is. Um, if you watched the last video, we had mice, we caught the mouse, and now he's trying to patch up every hole possible. Oh, what a sight. Hmm? What happened? Bend over again. What's wrong, babe? You liking you liking your open concept? Oh shit. You open the concept. Oh, 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 be careful. Oh. Oh no. Oh shit. Open concept. Oh my god, that makes a huge difference. Like my kitchen's a mess. Don't pay attention to my kitchen, but dude, that really does make a huge difference. All right, you guys, so it's official. I'm uploading today's video. That's done. I'm just waiting for it to be uploaded. But let's see what Christian has stored in the kitchen. I got to find my... Ow. To find my slippers. Where's your baby daddy? Where's your baby daddy? Let me see. Okay. Let's see how far he's gotten. He has been far. Oh, that looks like a huge. That's a huge difference without that wall there. Okay. Well, let's see. So he was able to get that up. And I think he's going to drywall this. Clean that out. There's our mouse traps. I was telling Christian, I wish this could be moved. This thing right here. I wish it was moved over there. Like, I just wish, but we're not gonna start a whole new project. I don't care about the hole in the floor. Cause 2020, I'm getting a brand new kitchen. Well, 2021. I think 2020 is almost over. <laughs> 20, 2021, I'm getting a brand new kitchen. Like it's never gonna happen then. <laughs> 2021. I'm speaking it into existence. 2021, brand new kitchen, you guys. Well, it's the beginning. The beginning. No, this is the end. 2020, we're it's ending it. All right. All right, you guys. So I know in a couple of videos back, I had informed you guys that I was going to start working out every day, doing a little exercise on my little treadmill bike or whatever this is called, stationary bike. Um... Today I'm on it. I'm gonna do about 30 minutes. I wanna actually get into doing, like I wanna do a whole like vlog of getting healthy and working on my body. Comment below if you want me to actually like vlog the whole process. Christian's currently doing the same thing. Um, if you guys are interested in being on that journey with us, let us know. We just don't wanna bore you with a bunch of like weird content. Um, but I want to do like a whole like before and after. I want to take pictures of what my body looks like now. And then every week do like updates. Um, like I want to be completely raw and honest. So let me know what you guys think about that. And do you guys want to see Christian's journey as well? I don't know if he would do it. I, t I think he should because his journey would probably be more interesting than mine because... You know, whatever, but let me know. Comment below. Okay, Loki. Let's turn it back to me. We're back home. I got Ashley's. Uh, thought I had a booger. Thought I had a booger. Well, we're back home. Hey, beep here. Help me out with that. Let me get all this. Don't show us the channel. Don't show them what okay. I got yet. All right. 
There, you can put it up there. Okay, we're back home. We got a couple of things. I bought Ashley's uh, present. Bought yours. I brought Ashley's present. Ashley bought me a present. Wow, can't believe it. Calm down. And uh, we have a special guest. Ooh. We have a special guest here at the house. Hi. Who's here? Nana. And who else? Mommy. And who else? That's it. That's it? Bellamy's here? Oh, I think I heard him outside. Uh oh, alright. So I think Bellamy's outside and for you guys that haven't seen, I knocked down the wall finally and I'm about to do some drywall. But, first of all, <laughs> let's see who's here. My lovely mom in the three-wheeler. And what do you have? Come look at things like atrás. La Bellamy. My cousin. Hi, mamas. Hi, baby. How you doing, mama? How you doing? I was going like, to la mano, eh? Porque esta la llanta. Mira. Hey, mama. Okay. Mira. There she goes. There she goes. Ashley bought me a drywall gun, a cordless one. He just wants to use a gun. So I'm going to go use it right now and I'll pass this to you, to <laughs> Ashley. So. Hi. Hi. All right. Christian's going to finish the drywall. I'm going to go say hi to Bellamy, hang out with the kids real quick, and we'll update you in a little while. All right, you guys. I wanted to come on here and just speak to you real quick. Um, my, night take a, my night took a turn for the worst. Um, we got home from Home Depot. Um, as you guys saw in the very last little clip of this video, um, Bellamy was here. My mother-in-law was here. When I got home, my dad had told me he wasn't feeling good. Um, he didn't look really good either. He said that he's had diarrhea for the last two days and he just feels like he's starting to get the flu. Um, I took his temperature and it wasn't, he wasn't running a fever. I waited a little while. Um, I went in and took his temperature again and he was at 100.4 so I gave him some Tylenol I told Christian and his mom and they left I sanitized my whole house and I called up a couple of my friends that are doctors and that work at hospitals and they sent me a link to an in-home rapid test that a doctor's office does so the doctor actually came to my house right now swabbed my dad um and we're waiting for the results he said he'd call me in the next 15 minutes to let me know so right now we're in suspense um i pray to god uh, i pray to god that it's not covid um i don't want my dad to be sick at all ever but uh i just don't want to have something that his body can't fight if you guys don't know, my dad smokes and drinks. He's a Vietnam vet and he has PTSD very bad. So the only way he's able to sleep at night is for him to drink before he goes to bed. So his routine is he drinks some wine in the backyard and he'll smoke and um, listen to the football games or whatever sports playing. And then he'll get, he'll get pretty good. He'll get tossed. Um, and then he's able to get a good night's sleep. I don't know if you know anybody that has been at war. Um, or anybody that has PTSD. But my dad suffers from the same nightmare every night. He's had it for the last 50 years. So since he's been out of the military, he has the same recurring nightmare every night and um it's just something he deals with and copes with he wasn't able to sleep very well ever um that is why you guys always ask why do my boys sleep in the room with my dad or why doesn't my dad have his own little area he personally loves to be with my boys um it helps him it soothes him it makes him feel more um comfortable um and 
my boys. Yeah, one more. Oh, it's the doctor. Hello? Hey, Ashley, it's Michelle. Hi. Hey, so it's negative. Oh, thank God. So, do I need to worry about it being a false negative, or are you pretty confident it's negative? No, you don't. Okay. Um, uh, pretty confident. Okay, perfect. I uh, thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. You are welcome anytime. Oh, anytime. You have a great day. <sighs> negative. Negative. Thank God. So I think my dad just has a stomach flu. He's just going through it. Um, I'm about to go tell him real quick that he has that it's negative. I'll be back. All right, sorry you guys. So back to what I was saying. My kids like to be with my dad, so they enjoy being in the room with him. It helps them help my dad. It's kind of like they want him to feel comfortable, so they don't mind. Um, but yeah, I was thankful for my friend Brandy that works at Children's Hospital um, for sending me this link where the doctor comes to you uh i paid a hundred for anybody that wants to know i paid a hundred and i think it was a hundred and thirty dollars for the doctor to come to us and take the test and it's a rapid test he does and the doctor himself did come he did inform me that if you don't have symptoms to not take the rapid test because it's not as accurate but if you do have symptoms to go ahead and take that rapid test it he they're fairly confident because of symptoms and everything it should come back accurate um so just if you're in san diego and you need that link let me know i will definitely post it and he came within an hour i i legit posted it i went on to their website put the information in paid and he was here within less than an hour and i got our tests with less than 15 minutes so i'm gonna end my night i'm gonna i'm ending this video i'm ending it on a positive note we're good we're safe my dad is probably has the stomach flu i love you make sure you subscribe share like this video show some love stay safe you guys stay safe i love you